If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can help you skip those valleys. Let's rally, yeah. If you wanna be crypto savvy, good morning and welcome back to be crypto rally, savvy. Yeah. It's Friday morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to have an absolutely awesome weekend, whether that's jam packed full of activities just lounging around whatever you personally need I hope you get it as for us today before getting into the weekend we're gonna be talking a little range report provided by our partners over at genie.io however first things first as always we're going to be jumping into Bitcoin we are currently looking on the daily time frame at the big overall macro picture but as for today we're gonna to just concentrate on this small section right here all right, now that we are zoomed in here, still on the daily time frame, uh, before we really jump into this, I just want to jump back to our video that we talked about the price of Bitcoin going into the FOMC meeting. I did just want to say that I was wrong. I got to take that one on the chin. I was expecting uh, some more volatility surrounding that last, uh, hopefully the last rate hike. Uh, I was expecting a dip down into the $27,500 range and uh, you can see that we only got down to about 28100 and then I also expected to uh, t uh, retest that $30,000 level and we only got up to about 20 just over 29200 29300 uh, right around there. So uh, not quite as volatile as I was expecting. Uh, a little surprising, but uh, you know there's there's a lot of other stuff going around uh, with you know the banking turmoil. Uh, we've got you know the U.S. government here you know possibly shutting down in you know less than 30 days. So a, a lot of other stuff is going on as well. Now jumping into this, <coughs> excuse me, this uh, jumping into this weekend and. Uh, going into the beginning of next week, as always, it's going to be hard to see any movement to the upside uh, in anything meaningful. Uh, going into the, into the weekend, uh, during the day on Friday, we might see some uh, movement. With us already peaking out yesterday at 29.5, I would say it's probably slim that we get higher than that today. Possible, yes, not out of the question by any means. Now, going into the weekend, however, with you know uh, retail being really the only uh, the only market participants left uh, during the weekend, it is. It's, and then also on top of that, we are at the very top of you know where we've been uh, testing and getting rejected continuously, and we are now in that rejection zone currently which on a Friday isn't really a great place to be. Now, as I said, you know, testing around that same high as we had yesterday, 29,500, possibly uh, testing that $30,000 level before getting, you know, a hard rejection. Uh, I think that's probably the, the top that we'd see today. If you look down at the volume, you can see that we've had decreasing volume each of the past few days, uh, which actually, has been uh, as a bearish divergence uh, in relation to the price increase. Now, if we look down at our relative strength index, uh, we can see that we have been slowly put in higher highs. Uh, so that is moving in the right direction to make a push to the upside. Uh, and we do have quite a bit of room as well, uh, currently sitting at about a 53, so barely over uh, halfway and moving in the right direction. Uh, so that is definitely a bullish signal on on the RSI. Uh, I do want to jump down into the stock stochastic RSI as well. Pardon me and my phone going off while I'm trying to record. Uh, I wasn't expecting that at 6.25 in the morning. Uh, now on the stochastic you can see uh, same thing. We are putting in higher highs and moving in uh, a bullish direction on the stochastic however we are already up to 70 getting close to that overbought area uh, which this is more in line with uh, what we actually are looking like on our charts uh, giving us uh, indication of a little bit higher of a push possible to the upside before being in that overbought territory 
where we would expect uh, a slight pullback. Now the last thing I'll mention on the smaller time frame is uh, we are in this converging uh, triangle and when you are in it in a converging triangle versus an expanding triangle like we have in the bigger macro picture uh, so in the bigger scheme of things we've been working through our expanding triangle uh, and on our smaller time frame here we are in this converging triangle now when you have a converging triangle at some point you have to break obviously uh, when you are getting closer and closer towards the tip you're either going to break to the up or you are going to or you are going to break to the downside now one more thing to note about these converging triangles is as the closer you get towards the uh, final or uh, the tip of your converging triangle the more explosive your move is going to be not always but a lot of times that is the way it plays out and if we extrapolate this we can see depending on where exactly we break out we can see that if we were to break to the upside there is a good chance that we would test that thirty two thousand dollar levels according to you know technical analysis of this uh, of this one uh, formation if we were to break to the downside you can see that we would test around that $25,000 area now that's not an exact science but it does give you a ballpark to then use your other indicators to really pinpoint and locate you know a good opportunity is if you were looking to dollar cost average or to long or short depending on you know uh, what your play is and if we look down here at our historical volatility, you can see that this is slowly pulling back as well. And I currently have the Bollinger Bands placed on the chart. You can see we are not really getting close to a pinch, which is where you would typically have your breakout, as you can see back here. As the Bollinger Bands pinch together right here, that's where you have your explosive movements after. And you know right now we're just not seeing that so overall I'm looking and seeing a lot of uh, bearish indicators uh, showing you know uh, pullback or at least some sideways trading now if you are a trader out there still hoping for a move higher to the upside this weekend I would be looking for a uh, pullback to around that twenty eight thousand to twenty eight thousand one hundred dollar area hopefully staying above the bottom of our converging triangle but there is the possibility that we dip back out like we did here now i would be wanting to see a bounce off our 20-day moving average which also uh, correlates well with the bottom of our converging triangle and by midweek hopefully retesting the top of this uh, converging triangle making that push to the upside and by that time hopefully then all of our indicators align and have been able to refresh and uh, be able to support that uh, that bullish move but we are going to leave this here and jump over to the range report provided by our partners at genie.io now for anybody that might not be familiar I'm going to throw up a video in the top right corner for you that video is everything you'll need to know about the genie range report and how to get this report for a two-week free trial as well as 10 percent off the already low price of only 20 dollars per month thereafter now jumping into the news and events section there is a lot of updates here i'm not going to read through these however i did just want to remind you that when you have this report you can easily click on all these uh, news reports and it'll bring you to the actual article allowing you to stay up to date in the bigger macro picture in the crypto market now looking at this we can see Bitcoin is currently trading slightly above 29,000 and dropping down to the volatility forecast opportunity zone and relative value now the likelihood of us going outside of the opportunity zone is very low uh, honestly I think that the um, the price action of Bitcoin is going to be pretty tight throughout the weekend um, that's just my personal thoughts on it now looking at the forecast we can see that come you know Monday or Tuesday is about the time that we should be looking around for you know some of the lowest prices around the week now that would be a good 
time to dollar cost average or buy a position to go along with. And we should uh, probably check back in maybe Sunday uh, and check the update to this report and see how accurate that still is. Which, you know, being in an ever-changing market is great to have a report that actually does update like that. So we will plan on checking back in and uh, checking the updates to this report and seeing if the you know Monday Tuesday type of thing holds true and by then we'll be able to see uh, farther out into the week as well to see if that supports you know seeing that possible turnaround and you know maybe by midweek maybe retesting the upper band of that converging triangle and you know possibly by Sunday we'll have a better indication on what our indicators are going to be looking like as well so something to look forward to for the weekend. We're not going to spend time on candles as we were already in trade in view and we actually had already talked about RSI as well. So we're not going to spend time there. Looking at the MACD over 30 days, you can see the bounce that we had talked about a couple videos ago and we still haven't crossed. Uh, since then, we've just been kind of gradually slipping lower. Over on the stochastic over 30 days, we actually just did get a bullish cross. We are about midway through our stochastic uh, reading at a 51 and moving in the upward direction. Now these are 30 day indicators so keep that in mind. Over on the average price with 30 days uh, I'm going to shrink that down just a touch and you can see we are putting in slightly lower highs and lower lows and we have talked about this as well. Now we are on the smaller time frame or the smaller view putting in you know lower lows and lower highs however in the grand scheme of things we are still moving in that upward bullish direction it wouldn't be until about twenty-five thousand dollars that i would consider this a change of uh, a change of character and by change of character i mean uh, switching from an overall bullish uh, sentiment to bearish but let's get back to the report bitcoin on balance volume you can see back here uh, we had talked about uh, seeing that drop and it got stacked right back up we're at the same levels we were at previously the average directional movement index is uh, still pulling back beneath that 25 which is not a good sign uh, as far as a bullish move or a any move for that matter uh, Bitcoin ultimate oscillator still very neutral sitting at 48 today parabolic stop and reversal we did just get a switch to a buy signal uh, which would be interesting uh, I do still see this uh, pulling back so over the next couple days by Sunday uh, we'll see if we have our three uh, buy dots which would be our solid confirmation for that reversal Looking over at the Fibonacci retracement, uh, we just got a touch on our 618 with our candle yesterday. Looking at the candles with Hikaki over 90 days, we just got the solid bear confirmation uh, back here on the 30th. And the Bitcoin Copac curve actually did pierce the zero line, which honestly I wasn't anticipating. Uh, so that'll be interesting to, to check back in on Sunday as well to see if this is still continuing in an upward direction or if we did just get a curl back around like one of these here. So just another thing to come back and pay attention to on Sunday that'll give us a good indication for the following week. As for this report, firing on 89% accuracy, super stellar, and we are going to leave the video there. If you got anything of value from this video, make sure you smash that like button probably the single most way that you can help out the channel and make sure that you keep an eye out for an XRP video that we should be uh, getting together and releasing. We do have some possible good news on an outcome pertaining to the XRP case shortly. So awesome news there and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Enjoy your Friday and your weekend. See ya. Like, like, comment and subscribe. Yeah.